info at you right now this video is more so for someone who didn't learn the move kit ups in five minutes or ten minutes like every other tutorial makes you believe it's possible that easy but it's not and yeah i had a longer journey myself i have a whole 35 minute progression video of that journey here right now i'm trying to do some weighted kip ups which is way more difficult of course it is because that's five kilo extra and well let's just start with the most important things from the beginning you can see here german word winkermas where you not exactly but circa should hit it um almost at the 60 point this is not quite as accurate as i wanted it to be because of my video editing software not allowing it okay now okay yeah i did a lot of k-pops everywhere so let's start first number one with finding the right goddamn place to do k-pops and that's not in the middle of the street this is just something fancy i wanted to do for music videos location the perfect ground to learn kip ups for me it was this goddamn couch here it's grass like a fake football field would be pretty good a wrestling boxing ring something that has a little bit of grip to it and most importantly is not as hard as a concrete floor so this couch for me was the best thing to learn kip ups at it was a couch I had after work. It's wide, it's soft, and the uh, falls didn't hurt as badly. Which brings us to number two. Some warm-up exercises, which is mostly this exercise, where you just lean back so you get the range. You need to lean back very wide for a kip-up, almost to the floor right here. Not with extended legs, but it's good if you do this beforehand, just so you can loosen up. And something else I did was just a rolling animation. Sometimes when you roll, you can feel the exact point where you would need to spread your legs up so you know where to hit it. Then you lean back forwards as much as possible. Damn it, we're already too far. Where do I have it here? You're gonna try to lean back as much as possible so you can have the range. And... Uh, Let's see if I can find a good other kip up here. There. You almost try to bring your feet to the ground so you have the range and then you kip up. That was an early one. That was also an early one where I didn't quite have it. Those are gonna be your early mistakes where you don't quite have it yet. And you're gonna fall backwards most of the time. So oh, cat. And those are some slippery four takes. This floor was way too slippery. That's why I failed here a lot of times. Because you just don't have the confidence and you need to catch yourself. That's a good one in grass. Good location. I hope you can follow. <laughs> this is a little bit all over the place. But here we got grass. It should be as flat as possible. I am having some takes later with a fake football grass field which is way better than natural grass because there's always some tree leaves in the way or stones so it should when you roll back not feel uncomfortable this is more loose smooth movement than a aggressive powerful one you need to feel more smooth and loose and there you can see i was nice and low with me rolling back here i have like i said a 45 minutes of video of me failing and i often took my time at the start to just lay on my back as close to the ground as possible with my feet so i have that range that's important for the kipping those are the <laughs> the first takes when i got close to it and felt the progress and uh you can see to the good takes come a lot of difference ah do i have a good take here that's with 10 kilos that's not quite what i should show you but it kind of is possible 
a lot of takes like that where I just threw some weight on top of me. But let's go back to the good ones here. You gonna let your feet fall as much to the ground as possible. And then you're gonna try to kick it up into the air. And you will feel when you roll back and forth where the angle is. But the move is so quick that you need time to find the right spot. And the big problem is if you fall on your neck and back, it will be difficult to do um, too, too many of those in close fashion. So what I did, I trained it at this couch. I did 5 to 10 kip ups there. And uh, then my back sold up i got tired this is exhausting and it comparably to muscle ups it's on the same difficulty level as muscle ups so you get powered out pretty quickly you're gonna sweat pretty quickly it's not an easy move five out of ten ten out of ten would be a human flag muscle body strength wise or backflips that's more difficult of course and landing on your heels is also a good tip barefooted or with shoes there you can see i land on my heels with the smoother takes i always land on me foot on the top right front of here and then it looks smoother that are some later takes who look smooth as hell okay massage ball massage ball back rolling afterwards especially after fails because you kind of feel your neck and back sore up if you land badly and i need to bring my massage ball but you can also use a tennis ball also you've got some nice angles so that's what you're gonna do with either tennis ball or massage ball you're just gonna roll it onto your neck let me showcase that for you in a second here We got here the black roll, which is even a vibrating one. I know, very fancy. You're gonna use that on your lower to upper back. Up. You're gonna find yourself a wall and then you're gonna roll up and backwards. Very recommended. Will look like, I hope you can see it, like that. Because it's more importantly for kip ups that you feel loose and not sore and worn out. You gotta have to do a smooth movement and not an aggressive one after all. And that is also very recommended. You just roll it with small circles on your neck because if you land badly, you will feel it in your neck. So I don't think anybody else would tell you that, but that's a good way to relax your neck afterwards after some bad feels also for your shoulders that's what you can use it for it's more important than any other tips i feel like because uh it's mentally this move is something you need to put through pull through with your mentality in a good place and if you feel destroyed already from too many bad kid ups takes you need a way to recover that's the word feels are gonna hurt that's why it's important that you can recover from them with black rose massaging or what are we gonna see next some stretches like this cobra stretch here which i feel like ah, my hips could be a little bit lower but uh it's something i do i have a ritual before i go to sleep i'm gonna do i'm doing those four to three stretches and also black rolling my back so i loosen up which is a cobra child pose it's this thing here and the bridge it's the more important thing for a kip up is you need to be stretched out well because that's almost the way you're gonna land so bridging is an important dip too oh there we got the nice grass that's a nice pause the tip number five would be film and compare after stretching so you can 
record your own takes so you can see where you are with your form and that's always for a lot of coordination exercise where you need to make sure that you are hitting the right technique it's always good to film it so you can see yourself how it looks like if you would see i mean you can also compare it to footage of mine or other people doing k-pops and then you will know how good your form is and uh that will help you actually a lot and damn it i did a lot of kip-ups and if you ga uh, come close to pulling off a good kip-up then the next thing you're gonna have to work on point number six or seven is consistency because just because you hit one good kip-up doesn't mean you will hit more of them perfectly you're gonna have to work on your consistency so that it gets smoother you can't just hit hit one keep up and forget about it oh yeah yoga mats since i see that right now yoga mats ain't the best thing to learn keep ups on also that wood panel floor is way too slippery that's why i use the yoga mat but often when you use a yoga mat and it's not gritty enough it's gonna slide away and that's also gonna be bad and hurt you some yoga mats are better than others but that's me trying it at home that's me in the gym this floor was okay so i tried it in a lot of places the important thing with finding the right place is that you feel comfortable and often when you start the move you don't want people watching and being near we already had that that's some good grass on a football field the fake grass was definitely better finding the right place is important with me the yellow couch after work <sighs> No one was watching, that's why I trained it the most here and because the floor was soft as hell and gritty. So this is my comfort place where I could have learned it or did learn it the best. No one was watching, floor is soft. This floor wasn't the best in the gym. A lot of exercises, well you are only having the gym to learn it, but that's part of the mentality journey too next to feeling comfortable after you learned it in a more comfortable place like on a mat like on a soft couch that's big you're gonna have to push yourself further and uh, try to learn it with more consistency on a difficult place either in front of people or on a harder floor i wouldn't recommend a more slippery floor and as you could saw right there when you don't feel it just take a break loosen up shake your body make sure you feel loose and comfortable you don't need to pull through if you don't feel loose and comfortable i often took some break just to uh, take a walk get the mentality again either the aggression or just feeling comfortable and then pulled it off again which it hurts it hurts if you fall back and sometimes you just need to whip yourself into it more and more it's definitely not an easy thing to learn like i said almost yeah pretty much exactly as difficult as a muscle up <sighs> yeah but it took me a lot of time more or so because you got to have to take breaks in between so you feel well rested so your neck isn't killing you with neck problems because falling on your back and neck is definitely the thing that's going to scare people away from learning this. Also, it doesn't get as much appreciated unless you're a wrestler. Then people do care about it a little bit more. Psych yourself up. And there are definitely feels falling on your butt ain't as bad as falling on your back and neck. I'm gonna link you in the description my 45 minute journey of learning kip ups. <laughs> you gotta look evil and mean. That's the key to learning kip ups. That's 10 kilos, by the way. I'm doing 10 kilo kip ups here. I got some takes where I actually nailed it. I don't know. Maybe we'll see one. And there are definitely people next to me. That's one. Not smooth, not smooth when you're doing 10 kilo kip ups. 
okay here we have 15 kilos and i don't nail the 15 kilos by the way but that was the time where i tried to train that for a music video and yeah kip-ups the next more difficult thing would be hands in pocket kip-ups and then afterwards with something in your hands but uh normal kip-ups first is a good thing oh something else i'm training right now handstand walk 360s ah i'm gonna do a lot of tutorials fitness related in the future more so just because my fitness level is getting up there again i had a big break but uh with a lot of those things there are five minute tutorials and you won't be capable of learning those things in five minutes because it's just too goddamn difficult to learn let me get rid of that and i have a big goddamn journey of learning keep ups where's my fitness content here it is here a lot of slow motion ones that are nice to see landing on your heels right hitting the right angle that's important anything else i forgot to tell you but like i said most my most of my tutorials anyways are info dumps and that's me hitting my first good kid uh, kip ups that was a year ago which as you can see here that's very close up you're gonna fall back on your first try so fall forward uh, depends on where the momentum takes you but uh those were my first good kip ups this one so it's gonna take some time take your time to rest to recover i trained it like three times a week depends on how good i feel it's more so a mentality thing so you need to feel you need to feel that the motivation and the comfort in learning that so you don't should you should not rush it you should not rush it you should not rush this at all <laughs> yeah 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 expect more fitness content from me i'm gonna take my time with it and good luck with your keep up journey take your time don't think just because you couldn't hit it in the first goddamn five minutes that you are a failure and uh, you need to overcome that fear and that mentality and then you're gonna have a longer journey of building up consistency so that it looks smooth also while you build up consistency let me uh give you the rest of the training mentality while you build up consistency first of all you still should start to train that at the end of your workouts or separately from your workouts so you aren't getting exhausted and when you have learned keep ups and know how to do them train them at the end of your workouts because then you are more exhausted and when you're more exhausted it's difficult to do train technique exercises and coordination exercises and if you can do keep ups after your workouts where you're exhausted then you are truly a master of the move keep ups that's why i mostly train muscle ups after my workouts because i already can do that and if i can still do that exhausted then i have truly mastered that skill good 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 yeah we're done here 